this is it. We are going to do a test here of this is an Atlas SD24 and it has been primed black first and then sprayed white primer down from the top which is called Xenothal Priming. Alright, you're going to use this Blood Angels Red. Shake it up a little bit. So I've already done that. And I'm going to be using a white Taclon brush. I've got 91% alcohol, distilled water. Let's go ahead and see how this is going to turn out. Alright, let's do this. I painted, I don't know, like 12 locomotives out of this one pot, and it is going a long, long ways. All right, where do you want to start? Well, we always start with the ends. So let's, uh, let's see if we can start with the end here. Okay, let's go. primer is very thirsty. Soaks up a lot of paint. We're going to see how long this takes because tonight we're going to do three at one time. Actually, probably again today. I've got a whole bunch of test models here to do and we'll go three at one time to see if we can make the time limit. We'll have about 45 minutes to to uh, make our time of doing three at one time. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a coat on. We're just going to slop it on. Our first coat. probably use the fresh bottle only because it's getting deep for me to dip the brush. Now as if you don't know already, contrast paint is a gravity based paint so you want it to be able to run Because if you don't already know, I have a thing for silver roofs. I love silver roofs. And I like to make them as shiny and reflective silver as I possibly can. Yep, we are dipping to the bottom of the of the pot right now. And sit all paints, they're not called bottles, they're called pots. Basically, I'm not going to paint certain parts, like the interior of the fans, which I plan on detailing, but I'm going to paint their little tops. Let's see how that works out. Right. One reason why I want to do three at a time is because I'm running out of places to hold the model with my hand. And if I do three at a time, I can let it set up so I can I can 
handle it. And three is just right. If I do the same part on three models in a row, then when I get back to the first model, I can start on another, another part. Cool. I didn't get a lot of white on this, so this thing is going to be dark. This is the darkest one, that's why I'm doing it now. Since it's an acrylic, it dries it dries really fast. I actually have a big fan blowing on a spot I use as a drying station. And literally within minutes, you can be completely dried. So I'm gonna do I don't know what I'm gonna do with the with the grills on this yet. I'm going to do something, so I'm not going to paint inside the grill very much. But I don't care if the paint gets in there. That's not going to matter, because I'm going to detail it later. Now we are... Okay, now, on the sides, I want my paint runs to all run towards the bottom. And I don't worry about if there's a bunch of paint runs on this. That's, I mean, that's part of the magic of this paint. This black primer does have quite a texture to it. That really is not going to matter either, because when I get to the detailing stage, and on this particular model, I should be able to show that today, because I'm going to put a gloss acrylic over the whole thing, so that when I go to detail it, I'll have a glossy surface. And then that will also be for decaling it. Definitely taking shape. pulls in those steps because I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start taking paint out of there and spreading it around. And I'll get it all out. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. 
10. So it takes roughly 10 minutes to paint something like this in one coat. Okay. And I'd say this one would be one of the harder ones to do. Now, I've only got one coat on here. And that's okay. I may not coat, I may not do much more than touching up on this. I, mean, I, might, I might just leave it. But I'm, I'm liking the way this looks. That really looks like something that's going to turn out really cool. Especially when you see the gloss on here. Put the gloss on so I can do all the detailing. And then, after I'm all done with all that, then I'll go back and I'll decide, is it going to be matte finish? Is it going to be going to be uh, semi-gloss? Or is it going to be, or am I going to make it totally glossy? Let's just quick knock out a cab here. Got these cabs from the other, some of the others, where I did my silver roof. And I paint the inside of my cabs a green or a teal. Brighter than what the real thing would be, just so that for sure you can tell that that is kind of the color of the inside. Cab done. All right. Let's, let's let's hit these. Let's knock out these cabs right now. As long as we're doing this, let's knock out the cabs. So I couldn't find a cab for one of the SD nines, and I found this high nose, probably a probably a something like a GP thirty eight high nose or a GP fifty high nose. I don't know what. Found it in my junk box. It just so happens to fit in the slot, so that SD9 is going to get the squared off cab. And that's, it'll give it some character. silver overspray is, it's a bit sparkly. I would have to say, it's a bit on the sparkly side. So I don't know what effect that's going to be. Be something new? Could be cool? Maybe not. But we're going to we're going to go all the way with it and find out. Oh yeah, this thing is setting up right now. It And you can see the effect where the top the top was hit more with the white and and everything else was, was hit more with the black primer and what you can see is that the top is looking like it's, it's kind of sun bleached that is exactly what the purpose of doing Xenothal priming is yeah, this is going to be really sparkly. This contrast paint is somewhat transparent. It will take on some of the characteristics of whatever it is you're painting over. So I'm taking out some sparkles. Not a problem. Alrighty. 15 minutes. We did three cabs and our first coat on locomotive.
and we may not need another coat on. Well, the side's pretty black. Still really dark. This is not going to lighten it up. And one side, okay, so one side is darker than the other. That's kind of cool. And there's nothing wrong with that effect. All right. Well, that was the darkest one, and it didn't turn out terrible. That means the other ones should all be better. That ought to do it for right now.